Hello everyone. Today I am vlogging. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a vlog so I thought we'd do like a little girly vlog and take you guys through my day. Um, I'm gonna show you my little situation here. I just finished getting ready. Once in a while I like to get ready in my office because there's like a huge window with like the best lighting so sometimes i'm just like if it's like a slightly cloudy day i feel like the lighting is just so horrible at my vanity all right here is my little setup i just brought my mirror on this table here and then i have like i'll throw all my makeup in here and then i have my um makeup brushes I was just actually, I already had breakfast today, but I made these cookies. Like, they're literally so easy to make and so good. Um, it literally is just oats, bananas, I think maple syrup, cinnamon, and raisins. And you could add, like, anything you want into it. Um, and they're just so delicious. But I'll put the recipe below. And you could really just add, like, whatever you want to. I'm sure you could just add, like, even nuts or, like seeds maybe i don't know how seeds would be like a pumpkin seed or some kind of i don't know uh but you guys could like make it your own and i really really love them it, like when you bake them it fills the whole house up with like a really warm cinnamon scent and it just smells like absolutely delicious so um it also will make your house smell good too which is definitely an extra bonus but i'm gonna have one of these as a little snack after i mean i already had breakfast but i couldn't resist not having one because they just smell so amazing. Also, I want to share with you guys, well, this is my lip combo of the day. Here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's see if I can just prop you guys up right here, although it's kind of low. Okay, lip combo of the day. I'm really loving this one. It is from MAC and it is in the shade Whirl. It's just a really nice like mauve, like rosy mauve color. So I line my lips with this. And then I just take the MAC, this is Velvet Teddy. I got, I had this in a mini version. I loved it so much that I just got a larger size. And, sorry, the camera's shaking. Um, I just really, really love this combo. It's amazing. Also, so random, but you guys know I love my Hourglass Mascara, like literally Holy Grail beauty product is the Hourglass Mascara. It's in like the gold packaging and I love it. But I recently, I was like starting to run out of it. So I went into like my makeup drawers and this was sitting here and I forgot I even had it. I guess I got it in like PR or something. And this is by L'Oreal. It's the Air Volume Mega Mascara. Let me just tell you, I need to actually look it up because I don't even know the price. But I assume it would be like around $10. I mean... I don't have any falsies on or anything today. I usually feel like I need to add falsies like if I'm filming. But today I'm just like, I think it actually looks good as is. I wish I could show a before and after. But look at that volume that I added. So I'm really impressed. I'm actually going to look it up. Let's see. What is this air volume? Here it is. Let's see. Oh yeah, like $10.99. So... It says it's available at Target and Ulta. I'll link it below. It's getting this really cute packaging too. Um, but yeah, highly recommend. I could go on and on about it. I am going to take you guys through my day. Like I said, I just got ready. And I figured I would share. I'm going to show you guys my little rack. You can see a little sneak peek. I just recently got in some spring dresses. So I figured I would try them on. They're all from Lulu, which I am really excited to be working with them for the try on portion of the video. So I'll be trying them on. Actually, I'll do them before I leave to run errands because I think then it's supposed to get rainy and I don't want it to be too dark. So right now it's pretty bright out. So fingers crossed it stays that way for a little bit while I run my errands as well because no one likes to run in and out of your car in the rain. That's not fun. So um, I also want to look at, I thought I'd take you guys along and show because I want to shop for some like spring and like Easter decor at Target so I figured I would take you guys along with me and show you guys like what's new in store and whatnot there but yeah that's pretty much the plan for today and of course I have a lot of work I have a 
long list of things to do like when is there not though really i'm gonna try on some dresses for you guys they're all from lulu's which i'd like to say a big thank you to lulu's for partnering with me on this portion of the video you guys know back in the holiday time i shared a ton of pieces from lulu's it wasn't sponsored i just like genuinely i bought it all like with my own money i just really love the brand so when they reached out to work with me i was like so excited because they have the prettiest spring dresses right now and i figured i would share with you guys and they're all like very affordable okay the first dress i'm trying on how darling is this i believe this also came in white as well even if you're like a bride to be i think this would be so cute for like your bridal festivities in the white but this berry is such a good just like spring shade you could wear it for so many different occasions in spring i did start it with these shoes from Lulu's. I actually have a few different pairs of shoes from Lulu's. I purchased back and during Christmas time. I think they were like a pair of the bows. I'll try to link those as well, but I just grabbed these new ones. They have like a little block heel at the bottom. So if you're looking for something just like lower, but still dressy, this, these are really, really nice. They have like a one and a half inch to two inch heel, I would say, and they're a block heel. So really easy to walk in and they're really pretty. I think these came in a few different colors, but I love this. Like it's, I think this was neutral, but this still kind of pulls a little bit blush pink. So it will totally tie in to really actually like end any of the dresses I'm about to share with you guys. So this one is so cute. It has smocked waist, very stretchy and comfy, and I'd say true to size. Okay, how beautiful is this floral print dress? It has a creamy white background and then pink florals throughout it looks so dreamy i love this more like midi length option and it does have a wrap detail here with the tie this would be so pretty for like sunday best out to dinner well i just like any spring occasion i think this would be so stunning and then i have it just out with the same shoes all right this next dress it's a maxi dress really cute casual option although you could totally um glam this up a little bit more to make it more dressy casual but this would be so pretty for just even during the daytime in spring or summer or like on vacation shopping lunch it is just so comfortable any like activities during the spring and summer i think this would be really cute it's fully smocked up here so it is very stretchy and comfortable i wish you guys could feel this material is really soft and i love this mauve color it's really gorgeous and for length you can see where it's hitting me i'm five seven i would even just do this with some like cute studded flat sandals or you could even just do like a sneaker or something i think it would be so cute just like more on the casual side or to glam it up like i said you could wear these heels with it and then some like statement earrings or like i have hoops on also if you guys want to layer up i could see even if you want to wear this like transitioning into springtime i would wear this with a denim jacket that also would layer really nicely up next is this darling white dress with the swiss dot detail it is like all this like very dreamy layers of tulle throughout this is great for a lot of spring occasions especially if you're a bride to be this would be so cute for a lot of different bridal festivities or like for a bridal shower rehearsal dinner lots of um, festivities you could wear this if you're a bride or even if you're a graduate this would be so cute for your graduation um, or just anywhere you just want to wear a white dress to even like a baby shower this is so pretty and I love this like kind of bustier look to the top and it's just so frilly. The straps are fully adjustable and I would say it runs true to size. Always love a floral dress moment. This is such a cute mini floral dress. Or if you're more petite, it probably wouldn't be as mini on you. I am 5'7", so it definitely is shorter on me. But I really love these kind of dresses for spring and summer. This is so cute with the adjustable bow detail at the chest. So you could totally like just customize it if you want it looser or tighter. Um, it is customizable. And then in the back, it is open. So you would just have to wear sticky covers with this. And then you'll be good to go. And then I love the puff sleeves and just like how flowy this is this is just so adorable okay loving this neutral floral dress the beige is just gonna go with everything because you could accessorize with so much either like straw bag you could do blush pink like any color it'll just go with it i love the smocking and this neckline is absolutely gorgeous and flattering and the back it has smocking in the back and it's super stretchy and comfortable and i'd say it runs true to size up next we have this pretty 
blush pink dress this is really girly i love the crochet lace detail happening it has this like stretchy um, detail at the neckline so if you want to wear it more like off the shoulder you can or more on top of your shoulder like a little cap sleeve and then it has a little um, bow detail which is just for show it's not functioning but it's so cute there i love the little bow detail you guys know i always go for a little bow and then um i'd say it's more of like a mini dress length again not totally i'd say the other one before was shorter but this one still is a little bit on the shorter side so if you're more petite though it'll be a nice like right above the knee length all right up next we have this really glam satin pink dress with the ruffle detail this is definitely one of the most dressy dresses i'm about to share with you guys this is really gorgeous if you have to attend a wedding for spring and summer this would be absolutely stunning it's great for date night any occasion or event where you really want to glam up this is really gorgeous and i have to say the fabric on this is so nice and thick and it was just like really really well made and i just like love how like it all lays and it's just very flattering it does have fully adjustable straps in the back as well and i just feel like all the seams and everything on this dress just are perfect like it just really is such a flattering dress so if you guys want to check any of them out i'll have them all linked below all right all ready to go now my mom is going to tag along with me to target because i want to film i'm going to film the youtube portion but i want her to help me film some a tiktok maybe possibly we'll see if there's like good stuff to film on tiktok um as far as like the home decor so we'll see um but yes my mom and i are gonna get ready to go but here's my little gonna be rainy soon so it's very ch it's still pretty chilly so this is my little otd a little outfit change i just changed out the shoes as i as i was walking out the door i'm like maybe the mules aren't the best idea with the rain coming so in case it does start to rain a little bit earlier than expected then i just change into some sneakers a little bit more casual just going for some casual vibes so yes now this is the official outfit of the day down a second just got out of target i feel like it was a success i have not been inside target in quite some time um and as you guys saw they have really cute spring decor and easter i mean there wasn't like a huge volume of items but there were some really cute um 
things there and i even was impressed with the beauty section they like totally like redid it and like it almost looks like you're in like an ulta or something so but now we're gonna head over and get some lunch i don't know where we want to go yet but we have to decide so we're gonna have lunch and then i'll show you guys a complete haul of everything that i got all the decor everything when i get home all right back home i'm gonna do a quick target haul i have a bunch of random things that I picked up that I thought it'd be fun to share. I always love seeing what other people get. So um, we literally made it though just in time with the rain because as soon as we got in the car, it started raining. I mean, it wasn't like a terrible, at least it was just like a drizzle, but we still made it in perfect timing. All right, here is the random Target haul from home decor to food and all the things. Um, I have a few things of my mom's I thought I would share because it's super cute. Like. My mom picked up these. These are what she got for my nephews, her grandsons. Um, so she got these bubble ones. So I figured I'd just share these because if you have little kids for Easter to give to, um, these are really cute and they were in the dollar spot literally just for $1. And they had so many different colors and isn't the aqua and the yellow so cute? So they're so festive. And I thought, I mean, kids always, I mean, what kid doesn't like bubbles and this is a cute bubble wand they also had this in the dollar spot so my mom picked these up so again if you're looking for some ideas this chalk will be cute in a easter basket and it looks like that this was this was also only a dollar this is what my mom also bought she got this gingham tablecloth this would be so cute for an Easter tablescape or any kind of spring get together. All right now, the things that I bought, I got this is one of my favorite sparkling waters. It's the Good and Gather Tropical Cherry, you guys. If you like Dr. Pepper, which I haven't had that in so long, like years, but um, this is like amazing. It reminds me of that, and it's um, tropical cherry. I mean, definitely try it if you're a fan of like that kind of like taste try this out it reminds me so much of it another sparkling water that i recently just like really loved because i think i was in like palm beach or new york i can't remember at a restaurant and i had this and it was so good so i don't drink these like every day or anything because they're definitely a splurge but there's just sparkling water like no flavor they're just so good when they're like ice cold <laughs> sounds crazy but you guys need to try it if you just want like a refreshing like crisp drink we've got some lara bars these are really great to have if you're traveling or just on the go so i really like the cashew cookie and then i just picked up the cherry pie these i actually had the other night for dinner and then they like almost were expired so i just picked up another pack um they're by the brand siete they're the grain free taco shells and i just like toast these up in the toaster oven they do burn pretty easily so you have to like watch them very closely because they just all of a sudden like start to burn out of nowhere but they're delicious so if you like a crunchy like taco and if you're gluten free these are really good love simple mills literally one of the best brands for like baked goods if you're gluten free so um the brownies good the chocolate cupcakes are good the cookies are good literally i've tried like all the mixes even the pizza dough is good they just make a lot of great mixes. And then this, I so I was getting this little mini hairspray. I used to use this L'Oreal Elnet years ago, like in my dance days, when I would do my hair for recitals or competitions, I would use this like in the large can. So I wanted to retry this again and just because I, it's been a while since I've used it. So I got a mini size and then my mom was getting these. And I'm like, you know what? Just put them in my car. I'll buy them because I, um, there was like a gift card promotion for like a free $5 gift card. So I figured let's just put them all together so we could get the gift card. And I figured why not? So my mom got her hair stylist told her to try because she has like a natural wave to her hair. And if you guys have any suggestions for my mom, if like you have a natural curl to your hair, um, but you have like fine hair, what is like a good product she's just trying these out she doesn't even know if these are going to be any good so this is her first time trying them it's the curl talk mousse so her stylist said to try a mousse and then she also figured she would try i was trying to help her out and find some good ones i and this is more like a spray so but if you guys have any suggestions for my mom like she just wants to like scrunch her hair after showering you know and like use her natural curl and just like use a mousse or something to define the waves let me know in the comments and I'll share those suggestions with her. And then I also got, I thought this was so cute. I think the brand was like Harper and Ari. 
Um, but I thought I'd try these out. It's exfoliating sugar cubes you just use like on like any rough areas. I like to do like little pedicures. They have shea butter and aloe in them. I should have shared this with the food, but this just sounded good. I've never tried this before. It reminds me of like, it sounded like something like Chipotle would have, like the Chipotle rice, the cilantro and lime. We'll see if that's any good. And then just some essentials and random things like the sanitizer. And then this is good for travel. Um, I'll, I'm gonna be going on a trip soon. So these are good to have like to wipe down the seats like on the airplane and everything and oh and then how could i forget like one of the cutest things i love this like soft green like you know greenery it just fills in little spaces like on shelving units and little areas in your home and this i thought it was so cute with the little flowers on it they're pink flowers sorry you guys it's like not the best lighting because it's so rainy out but how cute is this little scalloped basket I couldn't like resist. It reminds me of something you would see on like Serena and Lily. It's really, really cute. So they had a one that was like more like skinnier, but like a little bit taller than this. But I figured this would be cute for like, like some blankets inside. Um, but yeah, that's my whole Target haul. Okay, in my office right now, still, it's a few hours later. I have my laptop here. Sometimes I'll do my work at my laptop or I have my um, MacBook that I'll do because I actually got that, that I don't like strain my neck looking down constantly, but I sometimes like to sit at this table. Yeah, it's a few hours later though, and I pretty much have just been doing, you know, all the usual things that I have lots of emails to go through and answer. And then I also have, um, I edited a TikTok, Instagram reel, all that kind of stuff. So I was working on TikTok and I definitely wanna get a workout in today. I haven't worked out the past few days because um, I've had like this pain in my back, but it's not like most pains that I've like, you know how like you have sometimes like a muscle spasm. I'm not sure if it was from doing a bar workout because I usually do bar workouts, but I'm not sure what it is because I'm actually thinking because for those who don't know, a few actually 2015, I my appendix ruptured and it the piece of my appendix broke off like and when it ruptured it like went into like the area of my lungs like right into my rib cage area which is where i'm having the pain and they actually went in for another surgery and they actually weren't able they thought they got it and then when they scanned me after the surgery the piece of my appendix was still lodged in between i think like my, my lungs and my liver that's why though right now like when i'm having i'm having pain like when i breathe like when i inhale and then my ribs try to expand it feels like on my right rib in the back it's like stuck and it reminds me so much of when i had that issue so i don't even know if i'm having like a relapse or something i don't know why if like something triggered the pain working out i don't know or maybe it's just a bad spasm hopefully it's just a bad spasm and it'll just like resolve on its own I don't know, but it's just like bothering me, especially like when I'm sitting at my desk for extended periods of time. It's like very, very painful. I remember like back when I was in the hospital with that whole issue with my appendix, I remember like anytime I would breathe, laugh, anything like that, it would be so painful. Now it's nowhere near, like that would be like shooting through the roof pain. Um, so it's definitely not to that degree, but it's like enough to like last night, I couldn't even really sleep. It was like hard for me to fall asleep because I was like tossing and turning with the back pain. So I don't know, we'll see. But I hope to try to work out at least kind of lightly tonight. We'll see, but I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know how you're all doing in the comment section below. I just like love this little community and I need to vlog more often because I feel like I do love the fashion videos. Of course, those are my favorite to film, but I also love just like, I feel like these are the videos where I get to like connect with you guys, chat with you. You could see a little insight into like a day. I mean, this is not a typical day. Like I, it's not like every day that I'm like shopping because um, I have been wanting to go to like say Target, but this is not like a typical day in my life because I like to film my vlogs during the week, but like I don't go shopping during like the work day, but because I wanted to take you guys along and vlog it to show you guys like what's new at Target, I figured. I would do it so it's not technically like a typical day in my life but this is like you know you get a glimpse into a work day in my life it's lots of emails filming all things behind the scenes i mean there's just so much that goes behind the scenes um 
I think it's like fun to sometimes share but hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you have any other video request but i am so excited for all the spring content spring is literally like my favorite season ever if, like if i were personally a season it would be spring um just everything about it the weather warming up the fashion just all the festivities that are happening in spring my birthday's in springtime so it's just like a fun time of year and i'm really looking forward to springtime so and that's gonna be it for today's video i'm gonna try to link everything that i shared in today's video in the description box and definitely check out the description box below this might be a little bit bright um because i put up like a sign up link to be on my email list Every Friday, I send out a newsletter with my favorite pink and girly finds every single Friday. Sorry if the camera's like shaking because I have you guys like on a stack of books. <laughs> you would think by now I'd have like a proper tabletop tripod, but my tripods are like full blown like tripods. I don't have anything like tabletop for my camera, which I should probably get, but. The books kind of work for now um so anyways what was i saying oh yeah sign up for my newsletter because i'm going to start also giving starbucks gift cards away to my newsletter subscribers so at the end of every friday i'm gonna actually extend that now i said it through february but i'm gonna extend it through march so sign up for my newsletter if you're already signed up then you're already entered but definitely excited for all the pink and girly friends like every week i curate these finds and i'll Put them out just for my newsletter subscribers and then also in the email i try to like round up all of what's been happening throughout the week on my channel and my instagram and my like to know it i kind of round it all up there to make it super easy in case you guys want like one spot to like check everything out in case you missed it because i know you know life happens and you can't always be on youtube every single like three times a week but um yeah for those who want like a little recap that's what I do. So yeah, I would love to have you join my newsletter list and that way we can keep up there. And that is gonna be it for today's video. I love you guys so, so much. And give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more vlogs and subscribe if you haven't already. Consider hitting subscribe. Would love to have you join in on this community. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Love you guys. Bye.